We're going to take a look at some uh, drawing tools and specifically what I want to take a look at is something called styles. So let's say that we've got this uh, drawing that we're finishing out and we've got a number of different dimensions all over the place and every dimension is different. Um, it's a pretty good variety. But let's say I go up here to this inch and a quarter dimension and I want to add a tolerance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on that dimension. And you guys are probably familiar with using this property manager over here on the left hand side if you need to specify things like your tolerance and precision. But another way that you can specify this is if you select a dimension and you look really closely, you'll see that little square that pops up. This is another thing I didn't list on my, uh, my initial list of features that are often overlooked. But this guy right here, if you move towards it, is called the dimension palette. And it is something that is very easy to overlook but it offers all the functionality you have in that property manager on the left, but it's right there in the middle of your screen so you don't have to navigate away from the graphics area. I also like how it's formatted because it's very clean. Uh, it's neatly organized, it's compact. You've got text boxes for putting in things like typical values or just custom notes to your dimension. But on the top row, you've also got the option here to add your tolerance. So what I could do is I could specify that we want to add, let's say, a bilateral tolerance to this dimension. And maybe we'll specify that our maximum variation here is going to be something like 0.02. And we'll say that our minimum variation 0.05. Just kind of making something up. All I've got to do is you know, type in those values, click outside of the dimension palette, and there you go. You can see that we've added that tolerance to our dimension. That works really well for, you know, just creating kind of these one-off tolerances. But what if I wanted to add that in several different locations? Maybe that's kind of this standard tolerance that we add to certain feature types or geometry. And I want to add that same tolerance to other dimensions. Well, there's really kind of two ways that you can approach this. One way is that you can simply just go click on another dimension. And if you go back to that dimension palette, in the top right corner of the dimension palette, you'll see the blue star, which is for styles. And styles are a way for you to um, kind of capture a customization or a standardization to an annotation that you've created. So under that styles dropdown, you'll see here that I've got a list of recently used tolerances. So I could go and select that previous tolerance right here of um, maximum variation 0.02 minimum 0 0.05 and it will actually apply that same style um, to this dimension. You'll actually see that it puts the uh, parentheses around it as well. So it basically copies that same exact format that we had created for a previous dimension and it just copies and pastes it over to another, another dimension elsewhere. There's another way that you can use styles. Um, if you click on one of these dimensions that you've customized with a tolerance or any other change, and you look at that property manager over on the left, there is also a group here for styles. And you'll notice that you get a few more options, one of which is to save a style. So what I could do here is I could say that I want to add or update a style, and it's going to let me add a name to this. So what I could say is just something like standard tall. Maybe this is just going to be my standard tolerance, or anytime I need to actually call out a specific tolerance, this is what I want it to be. So once I've uh, added that new style, let's say that I want to go create a new dimension. I grab my Smart Dimension tool, and I'm just going to go add a, uh, a dimension over here to this bottom edge. And if I want to use that same exact style, what I can do is just go to the drop-down in the Property Manager, and you'll see under the drop-down for styles, that standard tolerance is now visible. And all I've got to do is select it, and it quickly applies those same values. What's cool about this as well is you can actually share these styles with uh, your coworkers or easily move them over to another machine where they can be reused. If you hit the Save Style option, it allows you to save out that style with a name, and it actually has its own file extension. You can put these on a shared network drive, you can put them in SolidWorks PDM, or you can just copy them to other users' computers, and everybody will have that same standardized tolerance, uh, and you can quickly go and... Uh, and kind of reuse those styles to save quite a bit of time. There are several places inside of SolidWorks where you will see styles. I'm not going to go through all of them, but some other common places would be things like weld symbols. So if you take the time to go build out, say, an ANSI weld symbol, and you fill out all these different parameters, you'll see in the bottom right that, again, you have the option to save that as a style. 
Same thing with surface finishes. If you go and you spec out a surface finish callout, you can also save a style for that as well. So just kind of keep an eye out throughout the software. There are several places where styles will appear and anywhere that they appear, you can pretty much bet that it is worth it to go ahead and save that style and be able to reuse it later on.